Hello, my name is Chris, and today we're going to talk about how to use a stacked column chart to make your point. Imagine that you are the manager of Beach Burgers, a small hamburger joint that serves burgers to people at a local public beach. The summer is done, and now it's time to see how well Beach Burgers did this year. The first thing to do is write the title on the top of the chart. How about Beach Burgers sales figures for summer 2021? It's concise and informative. It tells people exactly what kind of information they will find in the chart. To help calculate the sales figures, you ask Sunset Accounting Services to provide the numbers for June, July, and August. At the bottom of the chart, you should write Sunset Accounting Services as the source of the data. Then on the x-axis of the chart, you will write June, July, and August. According to Sunset Accounting Services, Beach Burgers had $20,000 worth of sales in June, $30,000 in July, and $45,000 in August. So the scale on the y-axis will start at $0 and continue to $50,000 in intervals of $10,000. This bar chart clearly shows that Beach Burger sales increased throughout the summer. But you have a feeling that the menu at Beach Burgers might have too many choices. Right now, Beach Burgers offers the avocado burger, bacon, lettuce, and tomato burger, cheeseburger, and the pineapple burger. That's where a stack column chart comes in. You can karate chop each column into its component parts so that you can see how each type of burger contributes to the monthly sales figures. Now we need to update the title of the chart to Types of Burgers Sold at Beach Burgers Summer 2021. Taking a look at the stack column chart, the bacon, lettuce, and tomato burger is a clear favorite among customers. The pineapple burger, on the other hand, is not as popular. Now it's time to share what you have found with the owner of Beach Burgers. First, you should start off with a general explanation of the stack column chart. According to Sunset Accounting Services, Beach Burgers summer 2021 sales more than doubled from $20,000 in June to $45,000 in August. Next, we want the owner of Beach Burgers to look at the composition of the monthly sales figures. In terms of the different types of burgers on the menu, the bacon, lettuce, and tomato burger was consistently the best seller with $52,000 in total sales. In contrast, the demand for the pineapple burger was uneven, with sales dropping to $1,000 in June. Then we want to close with a recommendation of what action should be taken based upon the data. Considering the lackluster sales of the pineapple burger, it might make sense to remove it from the menu. Doing so might lead to increased profits for Beach Burgers because it not only decreases the number of ingredients needed to be purchased and stored, but it also reduces food waste costs when unused ingredients spoil. Now the owner of Beach Burgers can make a more informed decision about next year's menu. In summary, a stack column chart is perfect for a composition analysis that shows the relationship between a total value and its component parts. In the case of Beach Burgers, the relationship of interest is between the monthly sales figures and the different types of burgers sold. You can also format a stack column chart to make your point even more clear. Your choice of colors can direct people's attention to specific data points. In the case of Beach Burgers, the sales figures for the Pineapple Burgers are in red, a color used in accounting to signify that something is not profitable. You should also order your components so that people can quickly make comparisons between them. For example, the Bacon, Lettuce and Tomato Burger is at the bottom of each stack bar, creating a baseline for all the other burgers that Beach Burgers sells. Hopefully all this talk about hamburgers has not made you too hungry. But thanks for your time, and I look forward to talking about another way to visualize data so that you can make your point.